Hi guys, Nikki here and I'm finally coming to you guys with the second part of my birthday haul. If you guys did not catch the first part, which included cosmetics and stuff like that, I will link that video below. Um, yeah, it's full of stuff. Sephora stuff if you're interested in things to get at the VIB sale. And yeah, that's that. And I will also link the blog from when I went to Vegas and etc. for my birthday. Now like I said in my first part, just in case you haven't watched it, uh, my birthday and my anniversary is three days apart. So this is a joint um, gifts for both, basically. And so, yeah, this is the second part, which is all handbags, small leather goods, and etc. Disclaimer, this stuff is pre-loved and new. I will be, be very specific on um, what's pre-loved and what's new and also some of the stuff I had before my birthday but I decided to go ahead and put it in this haul because it fits okay. So this is a lot of this is all Louis Vuitton and this is a uh, Gucci a couple of Gucci pieces okay. If it's not your cup of tea the title say what it is. I just told you what it is. Just click off because the hate is real all of a sudden, I don't know what is going on, but you guys, I work extremely hard. If you're on my Snapchat, shameless plug, you see that I move nonstop. Photo shoots, clients, events, photo shoots, clients, take care of the kids, running here, running here. So I deserve to treat myself and my bae treats me too, okay? So enough of all of the chat, let's get straight to it. Now, I do have some pre-loved items. My pre-loved items come from Tracy. The Real Real, Yogi's Closet, and Fashion File. Those are my top four sites. Not so much trades in. I've explained that in another video. Yogi's Closet, Fashion File, and The Real Real are consignment shops, so the items have to be sent into them for them to authenticate them before they sell them. But Tracy, the items come straight from the buyer, so you have to be very careful buying from Tracy because sometimes someone will try to sell you something that's not authentic. Now, I have my own method to my madness to verifying if something is real. I have a SA at two Louis Vuitton stores that I have been knowing forever. So we kind of have a relationship and they will authenticate as much as they can um, for me if my items are authentic. But like I said, if you buy from those three sites that I will link below, they all, I already do it, but sometimes it's good for you to go get it done yourself. And my little trick that I'm going to share with you guys because someone came onto one of my videos and was telling me that they watched somebody else. I don't know who they watched and that person said you can't take your stuff to the Louis Vuitton store to get it authenticated. If someone say that they're lying, I would never lie to you guys. What would be my point is lying to you guys like I work for Louis Vuitton. But there are ways to get around it. What I do, if I purchase something and I want to make sure it's real, I take it to the store, take it to the store and say I need a repair on it or I need something fixed or I need something replaced. And girl, if it's not real, they're gonna be they gonna say no boo-boo, no, <laughs> no, no uh, ain't no more. So that's like my little trick to get around it if I can have one of my friends do it for me, okay? It's, it's ways to do things, so just stop believing everything you hear on YouTube, okay? Okay, I have a rare item that's not authentic, but I thought it was so cute. Of course, Louis Vuitton does not make steering wheel covers, but this is the dummy ass bean pattern. So I just had to have it for my little mini car. I'm trying to find some other little pieces like a mirror cover and stuff. But I got this from Amazon. I wouldn't recommend the seller because it took forever for me to get this. I actually had to file an Amazon claim before it was even shipped. But it is faux leather and it's just super cute. It actually has the little print just like dummy a a bean and I absolutely love it. So I will link this below. Just know buy at your own risk because that seller not that great so my friend made me a Louis Vuitton light case for my phone but I can't find it so whew. if you guys see all the stuff I have in the beauty room it's just ridiculous I'm actually redoing it that's why I'll be recording in my bedroom but hopefully it's in one of these boxes and I will find it as I go so we're gonna start with Tracy okay first I'm gonna start with a simple item and what Bay brought to my attention is that I say okay and I say, so, and I say, I absolutely love it a whole lot. I can't help it. I can't help it. I can't. So we're going to start with some Kate Spade shades that I got from Tracy. I love Tracy. They always have coupons off like $20 off 100 or something like that. But like I said, be, be very careful because the stuff is not authenticated before it is sent to you. 
so you just have to make sure it's real girl so this is the case right here and it is just some cat eye you guys know i live for my cat eye frames okay and it's just some cat eye frames in the inside looks like that okay and i absolutely love the case in itself and it has kate spade on the side right here and it is just a regular cat eye brown frames just something super simple to throw on keeping your car your dash your glove compartment or something like this and i think these were around 50 but it's a louis vuitton piece i got from Tracy. now i wanted to collect all of the key clays because my sis miss diva like said if you don't get anything else from louis vuitton key clays is the way to go and they are only 200 new at the store so if you can find them pre-loved then they'll be super cheap i think this is the piece that she said and so i came across this one and so i asked my brother to just pick it up for me and it is just the monogram key clay with the gold hardware of course all of the key clays come with gold, hard gold hardware and louis vuitton does tarnish all that money you spend for it yeah i know but you can go and get tarnax from the store and make sure you wipe it down really really good so this is an older piece and i got this one from Tracy, okay and i think it was around 60 70 bucks but you can get them from the louis vuitton store um for 200 and they are just very good for storing like your business cards and stuff in here if you're running to the store clip your keys on here you can clip this to your purse like a um bag charm just whatever you want to do and that is the monogram key clay and this one was made in spain so next i have a vintage piece and in luxury item vintage just means that it's older they no longer carry it in the stores it's discontinued it was it, it's just an older model now if you are a fan of louis vuitton you know this is vintage because this is the old box like they don't even carry I mean, give you stuff in this type of box. I have it backwards. This type of box anymore. It's like the camel color box that has the open top like this. And I got an Epi. Um, this is called the Epi Leather. And it did come with a dust bag. Okay. And this is just a plain crossbody. Now, I had to have it because, first of all, it was a unique color. And second of all, this, you guys know I love this type of purses when... I'm like at the fair, at the park or something, and I don't want to carry a lot. I'm out shopping. But this is it right here. I can't remember the name, so I will scroll it across the screen. It's just a plain epi leather piece. It has the little Louis Vuitton logo right here. You can make the strap longer, of course. Not too much longer, but it's just good enough to just carry on your shoulder when you out. Put your keys, your phone, your credit cards, and your cash and stuff in here. And it's just a very small piece, and it's a mixture between like... It looks grayish, but it has like an olive green hint to it too. And this was made in France. Okay. And this is a vintage piece. It is in very good condition. You see it came with the original box and the um, dust bag. And this was around $240 on trade. Okay, so I just realized I showed you guys the wrong Kate Spade shades. If you guys watch me, you probably saw the other shades in the video already. I don't know how I got them mixed up like that, but I think I had that pair in that case because I wore them last. And this is the new pair. So sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> it's just a black and cream pair. Case Spade is on this side. And they look like this, okay? So I don't know how I got that confused. But yeah, I had the newer pair in the, this box. So that's probably how I got it confused. But this is actually the pair that i just got so with that out the way i found the phone case so here's the phone case right here isn't this super adorable my friend Dee Dee, designs by dd make them so i'll put all of her information below it just has the dummy a a bean print speedy on here and a lot of little louis vuitton charms i think it is super super cute okay so this is what they look like right there okay back to tracy i got another piece from Louis Vuitton this is a small leather good okay and I wanted this for a reason and I'll explain that but it just has the drawer pull tab drawer I don't know the technical name but you guys this is what the box look like and it did come in a dust bag like this and what I like about this it did come with the original Louis Vuitton receipt 
and this is a vintage piece also so when this was in stores it was $335 okay but I got it for roughly around $250 and this is the mini pouch no this is the mini pochette delightful monogram so this is they already have a mini pochette and the reason why I did not want that one is because the straps is chain um, you can go into the store and get those right now and the strap has a chain to them and I don't like that I'm just very clumsy and snagging and breaking and then you have to pay a little bit on what $200 for another chain so I wanted the older model but of course the older model is not in stores anymore so I had to find it vintage and I did so this is it right here now this is good for you can change the strap out on it and make it longer and wear it as a little crossbody to just keep like your phone or something in I don't even think my phone will fit in here um, this was made in France it, do, it does have a good patina on it like a good peanut butter patina so you know it's very used but I love this style better than the regular one because of the shape this is the delightful shape and because um, the cha the straps are not chain okay so what I'm gonna use this for because I don't carry that much makeup in my handbags because I don't wear makeup every day I probably wear makeup twice a week and that's only when I recording or me and Bay is going out to eat or something so I'm gonna use this to put my lipsticks and my powder or whatever I need in in here as like a little cosmetic bag or makeup bag to touch up or something like my camera I can put my vlogging camera in here or I can even put my um my sanitary napkins and etc in this so I absolutely love this and yeah I got that so my last piece from the real real which I will leave the link below because if you sign up your first purchase you get like $25 off or something like that is a pair of Gucci shades and my brother got these for me also he got this and the Louis Vuitton on the ground key clay key pouch and you guys know I had to have these because they're purple so the inside of the case says Gucci and I think these were around 75 bucks and they're just purple 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 oh mm. oh ah mm. turn up so, I lied. There is nothing in here from Yogi's Closet. The rest of this is Fashion Foul or came straight from the Louis Vuitton store, okay? So, let's move to Fashion Foul. Now, I love Fashion Foul. Very great site if you're looking for luxury, authentic, vintage, new pieces. But, honey, let me tell you something. When you see something, you have to grab it. Them pieces go super fast. And so, I have two items from them. I know, y'all, this is bad, but hey. That's what I wanted. So, um, I have two items from them, and they are both in the original boxes. So, I have looked at them already, but I can show you how it come packaged, okay? So, this is the box right here. They send the stuff oh so well, okay? Um, let me try to get it. Uh-oh. It has the huge fashion foul box. And you have some pink and white little tissue paper in here. So this is the little tissue paper and stuff that come in it. You will get a thank you card from the team. You will get your receipt in this little clever envelope. And they also put in here the retail value of if you want to sell it back to them. You're not going to get the same amount, but they do tell you. You have a certain amount of days to get a certain amount. Your purse will come in a plastic bag like this. And... <sighs> Your Paris will come in a fashion foul dust bag now. This present is partially from Holland with Naya. She don't know it. But this year she was like, I don't know what to give you. I'm going to just give you cash. So she put some money on my PayPal. Just so happened I went on fashion foul and they had marked this purse down. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. So thanks Naya for helping me purchase this purse, okay? I already have this purse in brown. And so when I saw it in black in such great condition, I just had to have it. It is the Gucci Abbey tote, you guys. So beautiful. So beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Has gold hardware. And if you saw my handbag haul, which I will link below, I do have the tan and brown one. It is the exact same purse except it's black. 
You do have tags on here from Fashion File. One says remove the tag you own the bag. So I guess if you plan on sending it back, don't take this tag off. And one is just the Fashion File tag telling you what it is. The Gucci Monogram Large Abbey Tote. Okay. And that's what they look like. And it's just all black in the inside. I absolutely love my brown one. So it feels real good. Real good to have an all black one. Because I can carry this anytime, anywhere. So my battery died. So I really don't know where I was at. But I think we were on Fashion Foul. I got another vintage piece that I have been wanting. Finally got it. And it has the same box dust bag and everything because it did come from the same site fashion file and it is the louis vuitton epi bag right here oh my gosh just look at this this is freaking gorgeous let me hold up it has the little lb right here okay and this is the speedy 25 now i don't have any 25s i have all 30s so i was scared this one was gonna be small but for the price i snagged this up i think it was like 400 even on um fashion file i could not let that go and i got some little pieces and stuff to put on it and you guys will see that in a minute okay so this is before they started doing the silver hardware because they were gold at first and then they switched over to silver on the epi bag and this bag was made france okay so that's where this bag was made in france and it's just gorgeous look at this good condition good condition to be pre-loved so ooh, super excited about that okay that is my only 25 i thought that was gonna be like too small for my body frame but it's actually actually this is the speedy 30 dummy a being that i'm currently carrying and this is the 25 so it's not that much of a difference so now that that is out the way let's move into my new pieces like at the store new this is my first piece and this is my receipt I don't know why that's important to show now if it was fake I'll just say it's fake but um the receipt and this piece was only $200 which you, some of you guys might say okay that's good hold up is our stuff information on here oh no 200 and well, I don't know if you guys can see that $216 with the taxes on it and we did get this in Vegas get your little box like this and it's a small leather good and a little dust bag and this is the dummy a bean key clay Ooh. Thumbs up if you know who say that on Snapchat all the time. So, yeah, let me just show you the greatness. Ooh. Have the little, what are these? The, oh, the little, um, the little cards, if you want to know the code or whatever to get it. And, yeah, this one was made in France. All my stuff was made in France almost. And, yeah, absolutely love these. So, now the only one I still, I do want to get the WA Azure one, which is the white cream print like this. And I don't know if this comes in a red, like a red epi. I would love that one too. So I got that from the Louis Vuitton store. So I have another store purchase. And I don't know what to call this because it's really not a small leather good because it's not leather. Here's the receipt. And this was... I'm gonna say $165. Yes, it was $165. And here's the box. It has a little cord on it. I don't know why they didn't give me a cord for my um key clay, but this was the last one, which I should have just picked another print because they didn't come in the plastic or none of that and have it out on display. But I wanted this. It is the Trunks Bando. I think that's what it's called. And I'm so glad they gave me a box for it. And what you do is tie these around your purse. Like really pretty bows and stuff. Some people wear them around their neck. Just however you want to do it. And this one is called the Bando Trunks Rose. It's kind of stretched out. I can't really see it. 
and this one was made in Paris and it's just this real pretty gray and baby pink and black oh my gosh and I have this but I have the regular brown monogram type one so I decided to pick this one up I actually wanted the rainbow one but it was sold out by the time you know I got this one so yeah that's what they look like another store purchase here's the receipt book for that one same price because it's basically the same thing same type of box and this is how it should have came okay and this is another bandeau and I'm gonna tie this one around I'm not sure which purse I'm gonna tie it around yet but this is all the original attachments and this one is the leopard maroon maroon not sure how you pronounce it and it's just a leopard print one now this probably will be cute on the red speedy 25 but it has a little bit of pink right here see that it says Louis Vuitton and pink right there so hmm I will have to see which bag I want to put this one on okay okay you guys this is my last big purchase and I know you guys don't feel like girl but yeah I work hard and I didn't buy this all at one time so if you want something, just save up for it. Bits and pieces out of paycheck till you get the amount to get the whole thing. And if you guys haven't noticed, it might not seem like it from Birthday Haul Part 1. I have cut back on buying a lot of high-end and a lot, a lot of makeup. Because I used to haul like every week. But it's like once or twice a month now. So that allows me to save money for other things. So this is the bag right here. This is the box. The cord and all of that is still in the bag. Here's the receipt, $970, uh -oh. and I just felt like I had to have this to complete my Speedy 30 collection, okay? If you guys on Snapchat, Inst I didn't put it on Instagram, you already know what it is, but I have the Dummy A of Bean, I have the Monogram, and now I have the Dummy A Azure. <laughs> so yeah, let me take it put it in this form this one right here was made in the USA womp, womp. <laughs> a lot of people don't like they feel like it's not as exclusive when it's um, made in the USA but I have carried this a couple of times and it's just my new baby you guys now i don't know what do you guys think do you wear dummy azure in the winter and in the fall because my new baby is just gonna have to sit up till summer and spring so that's what you have right there i already have the lock and stuff because like i said i did wear it a couple of times but then i was like "Ooh, am i supposed to be wearing this this time of the year so let me know so that's everything i got if you guys have any questions leave them below thanks for watching